Good morning, guys. I am Patty Elhoff, the author of Upcycle with Decoupage, available on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and Scobie Books. Don't forget, with Christmas coming up, this makes a very thoughtful gift. Today, I'm going to show you how to decoupage a lampshade. Obviously, this is one of those very small lampshades that you get in the craft store for those Christmas candles. However, you can use this on a larger lampshade. There are those dollar stores nowadays that are also five dollar stores and I got this in one of those because I said for Christmas I don't have to go out and buy a whole new lamp. It'll just be a nice little accent piece uh, out in the foyer where I've got a small light. And I started to decoupage this yesterday with, here are the napkins. For some reason, after I put the top coat on, and I'm contacting the manufacturer today, everything turned orangey, yuck, not Christmassy at all, not happy with that. And my intention today was to show you how to do this on this large lampshade with these colors. So. I don't know what happened there. The top coat seems to have really changed the color. So today I'm not going to be using the same top coat. You will need a top coat and I'll tell you what else you're going to need. A lampshade. And it could even be one that you have around the house. The cheapy, cheapest plastic saran wrap you can find. We're going to need some brushes, and I like to keep at least three sponge brushes on hand because sometimes those break, the tops fall off, or it's just better to have a spare one. One of these fine artist's brushes, if you have them around your house, decoupage glue, already got a brush in there. This is my Christmas cup of water, just water and your choice of napkins. You'll also want a nail file and a top coat, which you can use whatever type of top coat you want, uh, and by that I mean you can go with a satin, a matte finish, or a high gloss. And you can find those in the craft store, in the paint department. You can find them in the art department and you can find them in the paint department. Uh, just a water-based top coat is fine. And here's what we'll need to get started. If your napkin has a trim around it like this, you're going to want to get rid of that. And a good way to do that is to dip your brush in some water and just go along the edge right here. Once we've got that taken care of, this is a three-ply napkin. We're going to want to separate it. Well, two sheets came off at once there, so that was good. We're going to want to separate those four quarters. So again, just go down the center with your wet brush, pull it apart. Ooh, I'm getting things a little too wet over here. Now, ahead of time, you want to tear as many of these quarters as you will need. Since I'm working on this small lampshade today, I'm not going to need a lot, so it won't be a big problem. One other thing you'll want to do before you get started on your project is tear some smaller pieces of the napkin because we're going to have some spaces 
as we work through this. We're going to have some open spaces on the lampshade. So just tear out about five. You'll probably only need two. Eyeball how many sheets of napkin you're going to need. And the smaller your shade, the easier it will be to work on. And what we'll do is take some decoupage glue. This is kind of a plasticky lampshade. If you have a canvas lampshade, you can do the exact same thing that I'm doing right now. I'm going to take one section of the napkin, carefully lay it down. I want to make sure I'm overlapping. Now, be careful not to touch it right now. You may be tempted to. Oops, I did a little overlap there. But for now, just place it down. Now we take a piece of saran wrap. We cover the whole piece of napkin that we just put down. And now we press it down. When you pull the saran wrap away, to me this looks fine just the way it is. However, you can take the artist's brush, dip it in some water, and you see this little bit of a wrinkle in here. You can just lightly go over any of the wrinkles. Now, sometimes it will take the wrinkle out and sometimes it won't, but what is more important is you still want this napkin to lay as flat as you can get it. And you're, you're being very gentle with the brush. You don't want to tear anything. And it's fine that it's overlapped. You, you want it to overlap down at the bottom and up at the top. You see that I'm pulling on the end here. I'm pulling away a little bit of this excess because there are a lot of larger wrinkles here. Now I'm going to place the glue, some more decoupage glue down. And again, going to place the napkin down, kind of center it. Take, you want to use a brand new piece of saran wrap, okay? Sorry about that. Hit the camera. Brand new piece of saran wrap. Place it down over the area where you just placed the napkin. So you place it over the whole napkin. And again, press it down. Then we carefully remove the saran wrap. May as well just get in the habit of throwing that out so you're not tempted to reuse it again. This piece, for some reason, came out a lot smoother. I don't see any wrinkles in there. And you'll notice you've got a few spots like this. Or these areas where you've still got a little bit of open space.
take some saran wrap again press it down you may want to be careful when you're holding this if you can hold it on the inside with the hardware it's better than if you touch these areas that are still wet or damp because you will pull some of the napkin away that way this area will do the same thing add some decoupage glue Make sure you go in this direction so that you're not pulling the napkin up. The, so the lampshade is all covered right now. And let's just let it sit and dry. We'll let the whole piece dry before we do anything else. Now that this is dry, we can take our wet paintbrush, one of the smaller ones, and some of these pieces that you have overlapping, if you had any, you can go right along the edge and just tear those away. And what we're going to do now is take the nail file and go all around the edges where we've overlapped. And once you've got all of that taken care of, you've gotten the edges off, we're going to add a layer of decoupage glue over the whole surface. And this again is where one of those pieces that we had torn earlier will come in handy. Going to place that down with a little bit of water. And once we're done with this layer, we're just going to put this aside to dry. And again, depending on the humidity levels, it should take about 15 to 20 minutes for this coat to dry. Now that that second coat of decoupage glue has dried, we just need to seal this with a top coat. And here is our finished lampshade. And it's pretty dark in here. I just wanted to put the light on so you could see this kind of throws off a little bit of a yellowish tint, but it still has a little accent light, quite festive. And if we turn the light off and turn the main light back on, it's kind of a cute little light just to sit out for the holidays. As always, thank you so much for subscribing. I've got a Facebook page, Upcycle with Decoupage. You can always post pictures of your own work over there. I love seeing other people's projects and decoupage. So uh, I will see you guys, or at least chat with you guys next week uh, with another project. Thanks again. Bye-bye.